Hey, good day, friends. It's uh, Lance Klessig with Winona County Sun Water Conservation District. Uh, it's April 22nd, and oh, is it a beautiful day. Not only is the weather nice, it's mid fast, probably approaching 60 degrees, but look where we're standing. Pretty awesome cover crop field. Uh, and the farmer's right here below me, uh, seeing some oats and alfalfa. But we just wanted to bring you a quick update. Uh, share with you a few different observations, but also encourage you to get out in your fields and dig. Dig a little to find out what's going on below the surface. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're out in a field that was uh, with soybeans, both fields that we're gonna visit here, uh, both were soybeans. And they were combined off. On this particular field, the farmer took uh, and spread pen pack manure that was based, uh, corn stalk was in the bedding and uh, put, spread that out there pretty thin. Uh, then brought a fertilizer buggy out and spread potash with cereal rye. And we we're around that 50 to 60 pounds to the acre of cereal rye. And then he came back in and vertically uh, tilled in the, the cover crop seed and the manure. And so we're out here today to look at what kind of difference of growth do we have in this field right here behind me compared to the one uh, on the other side of the field driver, which we'll get to in a minute. So uh, before we do that though, wanted just to talk about, you know, the power of, of this right here, the power of live roots, right? So, you know, I'm gonna zoom in, get up here real close with you guys. And, you know, this rye is, you know, four or five inches tall. And, and yet there's a lot of power in having a live root. And it's not so much what we see above ground, it's what we see, what's going on below ground. So this, this rye plant is going to be conditioning our soil. It's going to be helping infil water infiltrate. It's gonna be providing food and habitat for the biology. Let's see if I can find a few other friends here. See our friends here? Earthworms. Nature's rototillers. When we're doing lots of tillage, folks, we do not have many earthworms. So on this farm, we are averaging six to eight per shovelful. And we are curious that when we, um, when we had a farm that had manure applied to it, was there a big difference in the amount of earthworms? And the truth is we're not seeing a lot. Uh, we were even kicking up this is cornstalk bedding. Uh, it's been spread with fertilizer already. Um, but were there any differences? And we're not seeing a ton of difference. What we are seeing a difference is in the cover crop, and you'll see that in a minute. So um, again, we really want to focus in on the, the benefits to the soil, the soil health principles of having a live root, minimizing disturbance. Um, there's just, there's many soil health principles that we want to focus in on and think about, you know, can we add livestock? How are we armoring the soil? This is fair armor. I mean, it's a lot better than if it was worked, no doubt. Uh, but there is a live plant here, which is pretty awesome. So um, again, we're gonna take a, a, take a walk here and look at a different field uh, that we dug earlier. And um, so stick with me here. I gotta run about, uh, oh, 75 feet to the next field. Uh, again, we're outside of Lewiston today. Awesome, awesome day. So let's take a look here. What do we see here? Yeah, we do have a cover crop that's coming. It was seeded at the same rate, same week, maybe a couple days later. Uh, but we definitely have a little bit different of um, the amount of, of rye growth. So it's, it's, it's maybe a touch smaller rye. The roots are maybe just a bit shorter, not by a whole lot. Um, and this farm does have some pretty pretty awesome uh, history with cover crops. And again, as far as our earthworms go, you know, we're still dealing with about six to eight per shovelful. And my question for the day is, you know, are you satisfied with the earthworm count on your farm per shovelful? Some farms they get onto, they don't even hardly have an earthworm. I was on a farm this morning, one earthworm per shovelful. This farm, after a few years of cover crops, reduced tillage and no-till, planting green, 
six to eight. Why do we want to stop at 15, 20? I've been on farms that have 40 earthworms per shovel full. So again, just wanted to bring you a quick update, Southeast Minnesota. If you like our videos, give us a, a thumbs up, a like, hit the subscribe button, and lastly, choose to make it a great day, everyone.